Despite an overnight curfew order, protesters were back on the streets of Brooklyn Center last night. Christian Cordero is live in Brooklyn Center to tell us what happened. Christian. Well, as far as the protests go, Shayla, 40 people uh, in that ballpark were arrested between Brooklyn Center and Minneapolis. But right now, we're actually in front of City Hall waiting for that press conference to start with city leadership. Uh, not entirely sure what it's about, but I did run into the mayor just inside the hallway behind me. And uh, that, you know, gives you the suggestion at least that there is something to do with the investigation, perhaps an update. Remember, the mayor now has control over the police department. So there could be an update there as far as the termination of this officer goes. And that is specifically what protesters were asking for, demanding in the streets overnight as they clashed with police. We saw uh, that most of the protests were vocal. In some cases, they were volatile. Officers used flashbangs and tear gas to clear the crowd that stayed well past curfew. A handful of stores were broken into as vandalism stretched across the strip mall across the street from the police department. Next door to that, an apartment complex. We spoke with one man who lives inside. He hasn't slept in two nights. Uh, scared, of course, you know, a little overwhelmed, you know, uh, the night before they actually had some, I think, armored tank or something that came in here. But yeah, I mean, they're, they're lighting off rubber bullets and, and, and uh, what do you call them, the uh, tear gas right here. So, I mean, these explosions and the, and the flash bombs are happening right here. Gino, who you just heard from, said Monday into Tuesday night, some of the tear gas got into his apartment, made him cough quite a bit. This morning, he helped clean up the remnants, trash, rubber bullets scattered in the parking lot. Gino stayed to do what he could to protect the building overnight the past couple of nights. The Dollar Tree that was broken into is in that strip mall that I mentioned just next door. And still seeing it all happen in front of him right where he lives, he says it doesn't make it any easier to believe. The stuff that's going on is a big deal. And the whole world's watching. So it's just like, wow, we're really right here. This is really happening. And we watch them build this fence and all those bringing in the huge trucks to, I mean, this is, wow. It's like, you know, and it shouldn't be a war. Lots of questions as we go into tonight, of course, which would be night three. One thing we know is that Governor Walls, just within the past hour or so, decided that he will not issue a curfew that will be enforced by state police. In other words, he says that each individual city is welcome to do what it wants based on what it needs, but that there will not be anything on the statewide level. Shayla. Christian, thank you. We're going to continue to keep an eye on the proceedings there in, in the Brooklyn Center. We did see the mayor tweet out in the last eight minutes that a press conference will be happening shortly. Again, we've been standing by for that to bring that to you as we get new information. Thank you so much, Christian.